Let's go to page 502 and start with number 1. Okay, so you want to find the sum of infinite geometric series. So number 1 is 16 plus 4 plus 1 plus dot dot dot. So here r equal to 1 over 4. And this is infinite series, so write down your geometric uh, series uh, equation. So notice there's no number over here because it's infinite, right? So s equal to 16 over 1 minus 1 fourth. And so you, you can simplify or you can just multiply by the common denominator. So if you do that, you can multiply by 4 on each one. So s equal to 64 over 4 minus 1. So s equal to 64 over 3. Okay, let's go to number 3. You have 18 minus 12 plus 8 minus dot dot dot. So r equal to negative 12 over 18. Just put one over the other. So this is equal to negative 2 over 3. Okay, so you can write down your equation and then you substitute. So t1 is 18 over 1 minus negative 2 over 3. And so I'm going to multiply it in by 3. Multiply it in by 3. So s equal to 54 over 3. And now this minus and minus become plus. Okay. And 3 and 3 cancels out. So s equal to 54 over 5. So let's go to number 5. Number 5, you have 20 plus 30 plus 45 plus da 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 da. So this one, r equal to 3 over 2. Now, because r is greater than 1, okay, so infinite series is going to get, the sum is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and there's no end to it. So in this case, there will be no sum. Okay, so there's no sum for this one. Again, because r is greater than 1, okay. In order to have an answer, you have to have it less than 1. Okay, number 7, you got 7 plus 8 plus 9 and 1, 7 plus da 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 da. Again, for infinite geometric series, right away you can see the number is getting bigger, so the sum is going to get bigger and bigger and there's no end to it. So right away you can see it's no sum. So it's very easy to tell. All you have to do is look at the number. If the number is getting bigger, then it will be no sum for infinite series. Okay, number 9, you have 2 squared of 2 minus 2 plus square root of 2 plus dot 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 dot. Okay, so r equal to, again, it's very simple, you just put 1 over the other, so it would be negative 2 over 2 square root of 2, and this will cancel out, so it would be negative 1 over square root of 2. Okay, so that's, that's your r. So, um, so s equal to t1 over 1 minus r. And so s equal to t1 is 2 square root of 2 over 1 minus negative 1 over square root of 2. Okay, again, to simplify this, just multiply by the common denominator. So multiply everything by square root of 2. Multiply by square root of 2. Multiply by square root of 2. So s equal to, when you multiply all this together, you get 4, right? Square root of 2, square root of 2 is 4 times 2 is 4 over square root of 2. And this becomes plus 1. Okay. And usually you don't want to have a uh, square root in the bottom. So in this case, you have to, to simplify your multiply by the conjugate. So when you multiply by the conjugate, you work there. So this would be a 2 minus 1. And on the top, you're going to 4 times square root of 2 minus 1. And so this is 1, so I will just multiply out. So s equal to 4 square root of 2 minus 4. I just distribute the top. And that's it for number 9. Okay, let's go to 11. Okay, you have sigma of uh, 
2 times negative 5 to the n and n goes from 1 to infinity so you have to write out a few of these so n equal to 1 you get, so when n equal to 1 you get 2 times negative 5 to the 1 when n equal to 2 you get 2 times negative 5 to the 2 when n equal to 3 you get 2 times negative 5 to the 3 plus dot 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 right? so in this case this one give you negative 10 and this one will be plus uh, 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50 okay and this one is going to be negative 125 times 2 will give you negative uh, 250 so you can see the number is getting bigger and bigger so right away you can see that for infinite series there will be no sum okay number 13 you have 8 plus 2 plus 1 half okay and this one you're looking for s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 and you have to look for s so since you're looking for s5 you can just you need uh, two more times to get the so you need to get t5 so notice that r equal to one fourth okay right two over eight is one fourth so just get times by one fourth so times by one fourth will give you one over eight and one fourth will be one over thirty two plus dot 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 okay and so now to find S1, S1 means the sum of one terms will be just 8, right? S2 means sum of the two terms, so just S will get 10. S3 equal to sum of the three terms, so it will be 10 and a half. S4, you just add, again, use your calculator to add, so it will be 10 and uh, 5 eighth. And S5, get your calculator, you add all these together. Okay, so that's done. Yeah, we can use calculator. Okay, so you got 8 plus 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 32 equal. So equal to 10 and 21 over 32. So those are your S S1, S2, all the way to S5. Now to find S, you can use a formula T1 over 1 minus R. So S equal to... Uh, 8 over 1 minus 1 over 4 okay. now instead of doing all that manual you can also use calculator but you have to be careful with calculator you have to make sure you put this in the parentheses so you got 8 divided by parentheses 1 minus 1 over 4 closing parentheses push equal so you get 10 and 2 third okay, so here are your your answers Let's go to 15. You got 3 over 4 minus 3 over 8 plus 3 over 16 minus. So you can see that the top is always going to be the same. And the sign is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, right? And the top is always 3, so you can do that. And the bottom is 4, 8, 16. So you notice it doubled, so it would be 32 and 64 plus dot 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 okay so s1 equal to 3 over 4 s2 so you get your calculator so you got 3 uh, so 3 over 4 that's your s1 minus 3 over 8 push equal so that's your 3 over 8 that's your s2 now don't erase so that's your S2, so you just add the next one, so plus 3 over 16, push equal, so it'd be 9 over 16. And S4, to get S4, you have to minus 3 over 32, push equal, so it'd be 15 over 32. And S5, you have to plus 3 over 64, so it'd be 33 over 64. Okay. Now to find S, okay, write down the formula. So S equal to T1 is 3 over 4 over 1 minus. Now to figure out R, you just put this over that. So you can use your calculator divide. So you got 3 over 8 negative divided by 3 over 4 equal. So it's negative 1 half. So R equal to negative 1 half. Okay. 
So you can, you can use your calculator to work these things out and watch out the parentheses. So it'd be 3 over 4 divided by parentheses 1. Now this becomes plus, right? So plus 1 over 2, closing parentheses, equal. So you got 1 half. Okay. Let's go to 17. So you got T1 equal to 4, S equal to 12, and you're looking for the first three terms. So you're looking for T1, T2, T3. So T1 is already 4. So in order to figure out this, you need to figure out the R. So and again, since as soon as you see the sum, right away, write down your sum equation. And you substitute. So you got 12 equal to 4 over 1 minus R. Okay. And so this one you can go ahead and cross multiply. And I'm not going to multiply, I'm just going to write down 1 minus r equal to 4. Just move this over and divide by 12, divide by 12 so I don't mess it up. Okay, so I get 1 minus r equal to um, 1 over 3. So I can move this over, move this over, so I have 1 minus 1 over 3 equal to r. So r equal to 2 thirds. So once I find r equal to 2 thirds, I just can multiply it by that, right? So 4 times 2 over 3 equal, so it'd be 2 and 2 thirds, and times it by 2 over 3 again, so it'd be 1 and 7 ninth. Okay. Now if you make into uh, improper fractions, so this would be uh, 8 over 3, and this would be a 16 over 9. Okay, so those are your three times, the first three times. Okay, let's go to 19. So you got R equal to negative 0 0.8 and S equal to 125 over 9. And you're looking for T1 T2, T3. Again, when you have a sum, right away, write down your sum equation. And you substitute, so you got 125 over 9, equal to T1 over 1 minus negative 0 0.8. Okay. So now you can work it out. So you got 125 over 9 equal to T1 over 1.8. So multiply by 1.8, multiply by 1.8, so T1 equal to, so 125 over 9 times 1.8 equal 25. So once you find out T1 equal to 25, you put over here 25, and R is negative 0.8, so just times it by 0.8 negative equal so negative 20 and don't erase just use that times it by 0.8 negative equal 16 and so those are your three terms okay let's go to 21 21 you have 0 0.66666 dot 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 okay and it says express each repeat this one as a common fraction, but rewrite each one as an infinite series. So this is equal to 0 0.6 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.006 plus 0 0.0006 plus dot dot dot. So first you have to write it in the infinite series. Then from here, you can see that r equal to 0.1 or 1 tenth. Okay. So either 0.1 or 1 tenth. So from here, and again, the so sum so this, so to find what is equal to, that is the infinite sum. So it's T1 over 1 minus R. Right? You, you're going to add all this together. So S equal to 0 0.6 over 1 minus 0 0.1. And so you get your calculator, you work it out. So you get uh, 0 0.6 over 0 0.9. Move one decimal over. So S equal to 6 over 9. Reduce S equal to 2 over 3. So that's how you convert. So again, there are many ways you can convert this. Okay. So let's go to 23. Okay. 
you have 0 0.454545 dot 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 dot. So again, this is equal to 0 0.45 plus 0 0.0045. Notice there are two zero at a time, right? Plus 0 0.00045 plus dot dot dot. So in this case, the R equal to 0 0.01. Okay. And you can check, right? If you're not sure, double check. So 0 0.45 times 0 0.01 equal, yep, double check. So the R equal to Okay, so again, to find what this is equal to means you have to add all this together. That means you're looking for infinite sum. So write down your formula. So S equal to T1 is 0 0.45. Okay. And then from here you can work it out. So S equal to 0 0.45 over 0 0.99. Move two decimal uh, places over. So S equal to 45 over 99. Reduce by 9, so you get 5 over 11.